Good afternoon or morning or evening. Daylight savings time is coming up soon. It's Eric from Apartment B and the Unabomber here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the look I'm going for today. Yeah. So we're at Navajo Lake State Park, which is our third state or New Mexico state campground. Um, so far, it's the f our favorite of the parks. Worst site, but favorite of the parks. Yeah. We just got a really bad site. Um, that's all it was. It's just the the site we have. It's on a corner, so it's like the curve is this way, and you're coming right off the corner. So it's really it was really hard to back into. So my and campsite it was a photos uh, trick either didn't work, or I think we didn't have many choices for this one. Yeah, I, I think we didn't correctly. have many choices. This place. So we came here during like peak off season because this was their snagging season snagging for salmon. Season for salmon, and it's like a month at a time. It yeah. was really busy the first week we were here. Yeah. We were here for two weeks. Yeah. And then somebody's playing on the playground. <laughs> about Can't halfway tell. through the second yeah. week, it was like ghost yeah. town. So yeah. it was like us and the camp hosts and a couple people in this yeah. lot down Which here. Which we were we were here for Halloween. So that so was interesting because it was just us and the camp host pretty much. We did reverse <laughs> trick-or-treating. Who are you? I'm Anna. You're Anna? Who's Dada? That's the dinosaur. Roar! Roar! <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Roar! <laughs> so we really like the park. There's a, a huge lake. There's a big marina. Uh, you can go down to the marina. During season, there there's like a restaurant oh, that's open sorts there. Sorts of stuff and, to do down there. Yeah, right they've now there's nothing. Paddle boats, <laughs> bumper boats. There's a gyro thing that you can ride on, and you know you um, hold the handles and go like. I think they might have like a bounce pad during season too. I've seen photos of it. <laughs> that's what he imagines the gyro thing would be like. Um, so it's really obviously a busy place to come during summer and peak season. Um, it's a big boating area. There's a ton of houseboats out there. Yeah, they on have on the lake really cool aqua what do they call them it's aqua like lodge aqua lodge and you rent you can that. rent a houseboat it's like yeah it's a houseboat and there's like a really nice little shared area for the people who are running the aqua lodge it's like a little fire pit and some chairs right on the dock overlooking the water it's beautiful yeah so this has been the nicest state park we've been to so far in New Mexico as far as facilities and amenities go. You could yeah. you could tell New Mexico put a lot of money into this one. Um, and there's actually like rangers at the office, which has been nice. visitor like center <laughs> is like a little mini museum. It's really nice. Yeah. And the ranger there was really nice, gave us some really good tips. Um, so it's been a, this has been a really nice place to stay. We'd definitely come back here. And it's just like a lot of the other New Mexico state parks as well, where there's some with water and electric, some are dry, and some have full hookup. So you got to look at their website and check it out. And everything. The dry camping sites, I think they closed down for the season. Yeah, so but there's still some in our loop. Okay. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to mention was while we were here, they were updating the bathrooms, at least the exterior. So they definitely yeah. maintain this park really well. Um, Except have, when teenagers come and trash the site and then nobody cleans it up before the other guy goes in. That happened, that happened next, next to us. <laughs> the guy was pissed. I understand. I talked to him for a while. We saw the teenagers trashing it the night before. So, it was it was pretty bad, but nobody yeah. cleaned it up before the next guy came in. So. so that's one thing I will say too about this park versus the other ones we've been to so far in New Mexico is there are actually two camp posts here and they're here like the whole time and yeah. one told us she's here through March. So the other state parks we've been to didn't even have a camp host. If they did, we didn't know it. No, they didn't have them. So we were here off season. So not that they don't have them at all. They just didn't have them when we were there. At least, yeah, while we were there or maybe just not during off season. Um, and then the last thing I'll mention is if you have a big rig, do not 
Reserve A8. <laughs> no. Do not. <laughs> Maybe we were small camper to a class C. We're 32 feet overall, <laughs> and we're like bumper to tail taking up the whole the site. The reservation says it's good for up to a 40 foot unit. No, no. 20 to 25 tops, no. like total length. 20 to 25 for A8. <laughs> now the sites on either side of us would have been 10 times better and the oh, people yeah. who got into those sites both told us those were tough sites to get into. And really those sites aren't really any bigger. It's just they're the actually they're on, the right on the right angle so you can yeah. do it where the one we're in it's like I said it's literally right in the middle of the yeah. curve so you've got more than a 90 degree angle you got to back into but and then there's a grill a that's in your way rig, it's nice because you don't yeah. really even notice the people next to you because they're like behind you kind of so it's a nice nice park though just yeah. that's one to watch out for um, definitely has been the nicest that we've stayed at so yeah, far yeah the lake is beautiful uh like this is said. one of the ones from the camper itself you almost kind of have a view the other ones it's kind of been blocked probably where... not during like full like peak season where you have leaves and stuff on the trees but yeah um, you can see like the mountains off in the distance though beyond the, the lake which have been like snow capped for the most yeah. part except for like actually right now so yeah they've been yeah. snow capped mountains <laughs> the whole time we've been here <laughs> so and we did get snow here too now here's another thing yeah is the what is it pinewood campground yeah. right yeah. pinewood campground is kind of up on a hill um so you, it is really windy, windy. here so you right. you get the wind because the whole campground really is kind of on top of the mm -hmm. the hill and then it kind of goes down into the lake so the campground gets really windy mm -hmm. um we if had we snow again, it we did would get cold stay down there in pinewood which are on the lake you get a really good view of the lake in the lower pinewood lots the sites are a little small some of them are a little smaller but they're easy to get into you just have to be careful basically anywhere you're at in this park if you have a rig just to pay attention a big rig. to the location. Yeah, really check out the sites beforehand. Um, so now, aside from the campground, I think we said everything. Oh, and there's a playground. We're there right yeah, now. Yeah, we're here right now. Um, the dump station is centrally located, which is nice compared to some of the other ones we've been yeah, to. Yeah, where they're at the base of the park where there's nothing around, like Santa Rosa. <laughs> so that's really nice, very central. A lot of the spots have a little picnic covered area. I think almost all of them except ours have a covered picnic area. No, they're kind of spotty. They have a picnic 50 table. 50 /50. But some have a covered picnic table. Yeah. Um, so then, aside from the campground itself, this is actually really good centrally located for a lot of stuff to do. Um, well, yeah, we went to uh, like all the ancient ruins. We went to Aztec, we went to Mesa Verde, Chaco and we Canyon, went to Chaco. All while we were here. So they were all day trips pretty much, but they they're were... not like super close. But if you want a campground that's somewhat central between all of those, this is a good place for that. Yeah. Um, it's about an hour outside of Farmington, 45 minutes from Aztec, 40 minutes from. Which again, we're still an hour to a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, and the nearest place to fill propane if you're here when you need heat is going to be Aztec or Bloomfield. Aztec, yeah. There's and a Roadrunner in Aztec. Um, that was, I think, the closest one was Roadrunner in Aztec. Yeah. Um, there's also a tractor supply in Farmington and in Bloomfield. There's, I think it's called Bloomfield Propane. But, um, but surprisingly, there's just nothing in Navajo Dam, which is no. the nearest town as far as propane. But there is a really good winery that we checked out. Yes, um, San Juan Winery. Not far away from here. Apparently there's a lavender farm, but I think that's a little bit farther out. We didn't get a chance to go there, even though I wanted to. Um, there's a restaurant that's connected to like a liquor store, I guess. <laughs> it's called The Sportsman. And then there's another food, nice cafe bar. thing. They really, um, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't know. I don't, I don't know. know either, so nobody knows. What do you call it? <laughs> um, Tell us. They really... Um, go after like fly fishermen and stuff it's a huge fly fishing area yeah, if you're big so that, everything is tours you can do to or like guide yeah stores. and everything is like fly every store and everything is fly fishing this fly fishing that yeah 
It's a nice, so. it's just a nice place to come to, especially because even if you're not a fisherman or woman, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, yeah. I should also mention if you don't, if you come to Navajo Lake, there's another campground here for RVs that is really beautiful, but it's not, we didn't stay at that one because the cell reception isn't as good, but it's down in the valley. Oh yeah, Cottonwood. Especially this time of year, it's gorgeous. You have views of the, the cliffs, basically, or the mountains, whatever you want to call them. And they have cottonwood trees lining the campground, and it is gorgeous. And you're like right on the San Juan River down there, also which is nice. from Cottonwood. But to get to Cottonwood, you got to drive like, what is it, like three or four miles on one of those fancy oil dirt roads? Dirt road, yeah. They're all through here. There's like oil fields, uh, not oil yeah. fields, but rigs. And uh, yeah. you got to drive through some, some the dirt roads, roads. kind of suck if I you're be careful with a rig yeah um but from cottonwood Mama. you can you can check out that slide where's your baby doll go oh, get it go get her but from cottonwood you can take trails to see actually some petroglyphs and ruins which we went on a search for on probably the worst day <laughs> it was really windy but we cold. didn't do our research first we so we didn't know research. exactly where it was and or, then we turned around right before we got there and we didn't it. see it. <laughs> Maybe just don't take your toddler with you when you get the tips from the park ranger. Maybe yes. don't do that. So then you can listen. You can pay, pay attention. attention. Um, but that's really cool about Cottonwood. But beyond Cottonwood, there's also Sims and Mesa Campground. There's a couple different areas you can park that are like BLM too. Yeah, so. just past Cottonwood. And that's where the trail starts to go mm -hmm. see the ancient Puebloan, Puebloan. Puebloan ruins. Anyway. So I have trouble. <laughs> okay, I'm cold, so I know she's cold, so we're gonna go. Yep, so uh, Navajo Lake, really nice state park. Mm -hmm. I'll plug in some video of it here and there throughout the thing if I haven't yet. Um, and we will see you next time, do all the youtube -y stuff, <laughs> and give a good one. Bye guys! I think that was pretty good. Uh, For a bye guys. A little week. <laughs>